my message, he did it by himself. He did it by himself. Everybody say that with me. He did it by himself. We have been talking about the oneness of God and why we as apostolics do not embrace the erroneous false doctrine of Trinity. It was a teaching that came about historically 325 years after Jesus Christ had been dead and resurrected. It was through the Roman Emperor Constantine that this false doctrine became associated with the false church. Historically, the Catholic Church has been associated and has been called the church. And all of the world have looked at Catholicism as the true continuation of the apostolic church and they are not. Catholic means universal and the Catholic church have made its claim to be called apostolic. They are not apostolic and they have coined the, the term and has raped the history of the world to make it seem as if the Catholics are the true church and everyone is a branch off of the Catholic church. So this is why they consider everything that is not Catholic Protestant. And the word Protestant means to protest. The Apostolic church is not a Protestant. We are the church. The Catholic church is the false church that broke away from the true church. So they are truly the Protestants and the apostates, one who has broken off from the true church and created their own beliefs and religion. Hallelujah. One of the central topics in teaching of the Catholic Church is the doctrine of Trinity. It was coined in 2000 AD by Tertullian and Tertullian of course was a black lawyer who start teaching the Trinity as a false concept and a false doctrine. And as he taught this, most of the false church followers embraced this doctrine and followed this, but the true church continued on. It was at 325 A.D. at the Nicene Council that this became a part of the false church doctrine. All of the bishops, Athanasia and Anasius, met and argued about the word logos, which is the word word in our vocabulary and who was the Logos? And the word God made flesh. And the teaching was rather the Son of God was human or divine. And the basis of their doctrine started in Genesis 1 and 28. And God said, let us Make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowls of the air, 
over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. The small word us became the nucleus of the debate as to whether there was one God or many gods. Because according to their false doctrine, the word let us indicates that in creation there was more than one person involved. Not understanding that God both speaks immediately and prophetically when he says let us make man and our image and after our likeness. The creation of man and this is particularly not the creations of the heaven and earth. This is not the creation of the animals. Their misunderstanding of let us make man does not and they did not take time to understand that when God said let us make man the us was not an indication that God called for anybody to help him in creation but the us particularly dealt with man let us make man not let us create man the, what God refers to let us make man is different than what God did in the scripture the let us make man is speaking prophetically to the man that God would create God did not make man that day God did not have anybody assisting him to make man that day man was not made this day man was made later that day hallelujah God created him the book of Genesis chapter 1 and 27 so God created man in his own image and in the image of God created he him. So although God says let us make man, he was not referring to what would happen that day. Because it is clear that when you get down to the next verse, what God did was created man. He didn't make him. Come on, y'all with me? I hope y'all following me. It would be later that man would be made. He would be made by sexual intercourse. God would not go back and create another man. The system that God put in place in the reproductive system and the order of God would continue to let the man that he created make more men. Hallelujah. Come on, y'all with me. Lord, I wish y'all was here with me today. He didn't make man. He created man. And with the system that God put in man, man through his reproduction system would make other men. So the us was speaking prophetically about us that would be involved. Hallelujah, because I don't care. Hallelujah. How old you are, God didn't do everything into making you. Hallelujah. He did everything into creating you, but mama and daddy helped make you. Y'all ain't got to say nothing. Hallelujah. You sit down here with your deep self if you want to. God was not, hallelujah, the initial agent, hallelujah, involved in your making. He was the agent that was involved in your creation. And God said, what I'm going to do when I create you, I'm going to put something in you to help you make some more of you. So you're going to have to help me get some more here by working together. Y'all ain't saying much. Pray the Lord somebody. So the making man, again, 
didn't happen that day. It was the creation of man. Isn't God good? Hallelujah. Why don't you put your hand together and tell the Lord thank you. So it is important to recognize the language in those two verses. In verse 26 and verse 27. And the changing of the word means a lot. In chapter 1 and 27 and God said let us make man and our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea over the fowls of the air and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth so God created man so God didn't do what he said that day he said let's make man in my image but I'll create him first I'm going to create and you're going to make. The problem is the Trinitarian can't understand that. They believe that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost as three different persons did a constructive work on the earth working together to create everything. The Father as a person, the Son as a person, and the Holy Ghost as a person work together to create the universe. That is not so. Did the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost create the world? Yes. But not as a person. There was not three persons. It was created in the person of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There was not a separate deity if it was a separate deity. God made it clear and distinctively clear. In Isaiah 42 and 5. Thus said the Lord God. So thus said God the Lord. Thus said God the Lord. He that created the heavens and stretched them out. He that spread it forth the earth, that giveth breath unto the people upon it, and spirit to them that walk in. Isaiah 42 says, It is the Lord that stretch forth the heavens. I did it by myself. No credit is given to anybody else. I did it all by myself. Hallelujah. Tell somebody the Lord did it by himself. Thank you, Jesus. In the book of Isaiah 44 and 24, thus said the Lord, thy Redeemer, and he that formed thee from the womb, I am the Lord that maketh all things. I made it all. Nobody else. I didn't have no help, and it wasn't a construction crew. I did it by myself that stretched forth the heavens alone. Not only did he say I did it, but I was alone when I did it. Who was here before any persons were created? Hallelujah. Who was here before anybody was created? Imagine a time when nobody existed but God. Glory, hallelujah. No man, hallelujah. No woman, no trees, no boys, no girls. He's the only one was existing by himself. As a matter of fact, there was no earth. There was no earth and there was no heaven. There was no time. Hallelujah. It was just eternity. And when God created the earth, he created a place for him to leave out of eternity and step into time. Praise the Lord. So he is the timeless one who sat back and made time. Imagine when there was no sun, no moon, no stars, no nothing. Hallelujah. Nothing existed but God. Somebody say hallelujah. And what you are in today, the earth you're in today, is a result of God's creation. Thank you, Jesus. But God sits back and creates an earth that he can't even visit. Praise the Lord. He has created it. He has watched it. Praise the Lord. 
and he looks at his creation. Every tree that exists, the Lord made it. Every animal. Hallelujah. And if you don't believe that he's God, just look around. Praise the Lord. And look at the things that the Lord has made. Man has tried in every way that he can, hallelujah, to imitate God and to emulate God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. They have tried to play with nature. Praise the Lord. They've tried. Hallelujah. They make artificial trees that look like trees, but they can't bring no fruit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They make the prettiest birds and stuffed animals and robots. Praise the Lord. And put all kind of things in them. But only the Lord can give life. And praise the Lord, they can come up with every medical term and medical machine they can come up with. An MRI and all of these other medicines, shots and pills. But God got the patent on life. <laughs> praise the Lord. Can't nobody give you life, hallelujah, but the Lord Jesus Christ. And when the Lord get ready for you to die, they can put you on any respirator and put you in any machine. He can cut you off when he get ready and cut you on when he get ready because he is God. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. God is in a race of his own. You have several black people and white people and Mexican, Hispanic, Haitian, Jamaican. Amen. Praise the Lord. But hallelujah ain't but one person in God's race. Praise the Lord. Only one that exists. Hallelujah. In his race is God. Somebody say hallelujah. Put your hand together and give God a praise. And in the Old Testament God said he did it by himself. God said I didn't have any help. God said there was no son of God there to help me. Praise the Lord. There was no son of God there who helped me create the world. I didn't call anybody, hallelujah, to get any buckets to make any water. Isaiah said he spit all of the water that's in the oceans out of his mouth. Can you imagine that? The Pacific, the Indian Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, uh, the saliva of God. Hallelujah. God spit it out. And as he spit, the Pacific came out. And he spit and the Atlantic. What kind of mouth is that? What kind of God is that? Praise the Lord. And when he got ready, he when he got ready to put up, praise the Lord, a canvas. And got ready to put up a ceiling in the sky. Praise the Lord. A ceiling. He didn't ask for any scaffolding. Praise the Lord. Didn't ask for any two by fours. A two by eights, he just looked up and spoke and said, I want a canvas in the top. Praise the Lord. And took his hand, praise the Lord, and threw it up. And stars start going out beyond gravity and start twinkling. Hallelujah. And the Lord said, I like that, but I want a chandelier in the middle of it. And made a sun and threw it up. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Put him a chandelier in the center of the earth. Glory, hallelujah. And the Lord said, I don't just want an ocean. He took his two fingers and dug a hole and made rivers all through the land. Praise the Lord. What a mighty God. Somebody say he is a mighty God. Hallelujah. Look at somebody and say he is a mighty God. Amen. And all of this, the Old Testament saints knew that God did it. They knew that God created it. They knew that God made it. Any God that exists, the God of Baal, hallelujah, the God Dagon, the God of the Philistine, they couldn't make themselves. They had to get some stones that the God of God made to even make their images and idols. Somebody say, praise the Lord. That stature that they got over there to St. Joseph that they're going to and doing the, 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 the signs to, the Lord made that. He made, he made it out of stone. And you're going to get something God made and worship it. You can't even get your own God. You got to get something that my God to, made to make you God. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say praise the Lord. Put your hand together and give God a praise. The question is, who helped? God make it. John chapter 1 and 1. In the beginning 
was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made. The question that I have, if, hallelujah, there was two other gods sitting there when Jesus Christ was creating the world, they didn't have nothing to do because Jesus said all things were made by him and without him there was nothing, nothing made that was made. He did it by himself. And then in verse number 10, he was in the world and the world was made by him and the world knew him not. Who is this talking about? Hallelujah. Who is this talking about who was in the world and the world was made by him? It certainly wasn't Muhammad because he's dead. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He didn't make it. It wasn't Confucius. Hallelujah. I can't think about anybody that was in the world and the world was made by him and they didn't know him. Hallelujah. And I want to tell you something. They don't know him now. If they think he's the second person of the Godhead, praise the Lord. And they don't know him now if they think he was just a prophet. But thank the Lord, we know who he is. Praise the Lord, somebody. Anybody know who your creator is? Tell somebody, I know who made the heaven and the earth. Somebody say hallelujah. My God. So he was in the world and the world was made by him. And they didn't know that he was in the world. They didn't know that Jesus was God. They didn't know that God could package himself in a body. That God could be embodied in a fleshly body. They could not imagine the almighty, all-powerful God being able to put himself inside of a body with five fingers on one side, five fingers on the other. Because he's eternal he is almighty. Hallelujah. He is El Shaddai. He is Jehovah Jireh. He is the I am. How could God reduce himself to the lowest term? Hallelujah. How could God, the almighty, get all of him inside of a body? Somebody say hallelujah. My God, you ought to say thank you, Jesus. Come on, put your hand together and give God a praise. And how could God get all of him inside of a body? Hallelujah. Now, when you buy a two-liter Pepsi, inside of that two-liter Pepsi, hallelujah, is two liters of Pepsi. And then you get yourself a small cup. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You got a small cup. How can you get all of that Pepsi inside of that cup. Praise the Lord. It just won't fit. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It won't fit. You can't get two liters in a cup that only holds eight ounces. Somebody say hallelujah. But when I put the two liter cup against the eight ounce cup and pour what's in the two liter cup Inside of it, it doesn't become something else. It just becomes a little less than what it was. Amen. But it is yet, praise the Lord, the same Pepsi. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, you don't understand it. You look at God in heaven as the two liter. Praise the Lord. And look at the son of God on earth as the eight ounce cup. And God pulled out of himself, praise the Lord, inside of the eight ounce cup. But it wasn't another substance. It was God in the cup. It was God in the bottle. And when you drink it, it's Pepsi in you, Pepsi in the eight ounce cup, and Pepsi in the two liter. It's still Pepsi. I don't care where you put it. Jesus is still God, whether he's in a fleshly body, whether he's in heaven, or whether he's in you. Praise the Lord. He is still the almighty God. The two liter was in heaven, and he took inside of the two liter and pulled inside he pulled inside of the out of the two liter 
and to the cup. See, the two liter is the father, praise the Lord, and the eight ounce is the son. And you and I are drinking out of the cup, praise the Lord, of the son because you couldn't get the two liter in you. So he said, just let me put it in an eight ounce. And if you'll come to the son of God, that's why Jesus said, if any man thirst, come unto me and I'll give you something to drink. Don't turn up the whole bottle. Just drink out of the cup. Somebody say hallelujah. Put your hand together and say thank you, Jesus. Woo, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Tell somebody he is God by himself. Praise the Lord. You all act like you don't know what I'm talking about. But if you know that Jesus is God everywhere, put your hand together and give God a praise. Yet now, you have the existence, praise the Lord, you have the existence of one substance in several locations at a time without losing its identity. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. My God, put your hand together and give God praise. John 1 and 14. In the word was made flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld the glory. The glory as of the only begotten son full of grace and truth. Hallelujah. John says the word was made flesh. Of the creator was made flesh. He that was invisible became visible. Hallelujah. He that was unseen became manifested. In Colossians chapter 1 Jesus gives a notation. Hallelujah. Grab somebody by the hand and say he is God. Hallelujah. Tell him he's God everywhere. Hey, Amen. You ought to act like some apostolic folk here. Say he's God everywhere. Pray the Lord. Tell him he's God in heaven. Hallelujah. He's God in earth. He's God above me. He's God around me. Hallelujah. He's God everywhere. He's just God. Hallelujah. But his name is Jesus. Praise the Lord. Anybody know his name? Praise the Lord. Don't you act like you don't know who he is. Tell somebody his name is Jesus. Hallelujah. Put your hand together and give God a praise. Colossians chapter 1 and 14 says, In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sin, who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. Let's deal with the image of the invisible God. He is the image of God. That's why we don't believe in statues and pictures because Jesus is God's image. Amen. The Son is the image of the invisible God. You couldn't see God because God is is a spirit but in order to captivate a spirit then I've got to create something hallelujah so that you can see it praise the Lord you have seen me from time to time utilize amen praise the Lord the the screen to show hallelujah what we are trying to play we show it and in order to show it, there are two components that we need. We need the projector, which has in it the substance. The projector has in it the light. But once we get the light, then we need a screen. Hallelujah, y'all ain't with me. And we need the screen so that the light can project its image on the screen. Now notice the screen is over here, but the, pro uh, the projector is over here, but the screen is over here. And so I've got to get what's there over there. I don't move it, I leave it there. But once, <laughs> yo, yo, with me. Once I get a screen, then I can take the image of what's over there and shoot it over there without moving that and now you see what's in here over here is nothing different than what's in here then there is just displaying itself on the screen well to make it understandable the father was the projector the son was the screen and so God says I'm showing a movie from heaven but I need a screen 
to reflect myself. I tried to put it on Abraham, but his screen was dirty. I tried to put it on David, but his screen was dirty. So I'll make my own screen pure, holy, white, no sin. Are oh, y'all with me? And I'll project the Father in heaven on the Son. Put your hand together and give God praise. Tell somebody he's God and he's God by himself. I wish I was in an apostolic church. Are y'all still apostolic around here? Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say praise the Lord. Grab somebody by the hand and say he is God by himself. Tell somebody thank God for the image. Thank God for the projector. Thank God for the screen. Somebody say hallelujah. Put your hand together and give God a praise. Listen here, amen. So if you can understand, amen, what he's saying in Colossians chapter 1 and 15, who is the image of the invisible God? Ah, pray the Lord, uh, the, the firstborn uh, of every creature, amen. I wish I had somebody that had a flashlight. Anybody have a flashlight here? Amen, well, if you understand the flashlight, cut it on, amen, you have the flashlight flashlight and and the flashlight amen pray the lord it, it has the ability amen to shine it has the ability to shine uh, but the but the flashlight even though it's lit up it cannot project itself except there is a certain environment and in order for it to project itself it has to find something that will allow it to get close enough uh, to let the light shine and so what God did uh, God was in heaven uh, and God was on earth uh, projector in heaven uh, scream on earth uh, y'all with me somebody uh, uh, he was uh, amen projector in heaven uh, scream on earth uh, and so as Jesus uh, was God in heaven uh, and God on earth uh, every now and then uh, God would move Move the light closer to the screen and when he moves to the screen they could see God and so God was distance but when miracles happened God came close amen God was distance but when he got to walking on the water God came close and as God get close you can look and see God in the son of God that's why Jesus said I, 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 I am the light of the world he used is light to describe himself uh, because light has the ability uh, to be one place but reflects itself somewhere else uh, and light has the ability uh, to manifest itself uh, in different ways uh, it is visible uh, you can see light visible uh, but it also brings heat uh, and so you can feel it uh, you can see it uh, and if the flame gets hot enough uh, you can hear it sizzling uh, so I'm God uh, you can see me here you heard me there oh God I wish somebody was here put your hand together and give God a praise and tell him thank you so hallelujah amen the Lord says amen in verse 16 for by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth visible and invisible whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers all things were created by him and for him you have to understand that God uh, works in both realms uh, just like you birth in both realms uh, every sickness uh, is invisible invisible uh, it has the parasites it has the bacteria uh, and it has the disease uh, those are the invisible forms uh, and so cancer uh, you can't see it uh, matter of fact when you got it uh, you didn't even know you had it uh, but if you keep it long enough uh, the invisible cancer uh, reveals itself uh, and manifests itself uh, in the form of a tumor uh, and so what's invisible uh, becomes visible uh, amen so uh, uh, 
hallelujah ha, what happens here ha, is your doctor ha, has the ability ha, through technology ha, to see ha, amen the invisible sickness ha, before it manifests ha. that's why you didn't die of cancer ha. they saw it ha, in its invisible form ha, and they killed it ha, before it manifested ha. well Isaiah ha, was a doctor ha, who saw him ha, in his invisible form ha, and Herod ha, tried to kill him ha, before he manifests ha. Isaiah said ha, unto us ha, a child is born ha, unto us a son is given ha. he saw him coming ha, before he got here ha. he saw him invisible ha. and Herod said kill him ha, before he start causing troubles ha. somebody say hallelujah ha. put your hand together and give God praises ha. and tell God thank amen tell somebody ha. he's invisible ha. and visible ha. and that's what you have to understand ha. if you don't understand ha, the visible kingdom ha, and the invisible kingdom ha, you can't even understand yourself ha. you are both invisible ha, and visible ha. you have a physical body ha, and a spiritual body ha, which doesn't make you two different people ha. let me explain a little further ha. Lazarus was dead ha. the rich man was dead. Ha. They buried the physical, ha. but the spiritual went to hell, ha. or the soul went to hell, ha. the invisible went to hell. Ha. And so, what am I saying? Ha. Amen. God's ha. his physical ha. is the son of God, ha. his spiritual ha. is the father. Ha. Somebody say hallelujah. Ha. Put your hand together ha. and give God a praise ha. and tell God thank you. Ha. Grab somebody by the hand and say, Neighbor, brother, in visible ha, or visible ha. he's God ha. somebody say glory ha. and the problem was ha, he was God ha, but he was only God ha. amen he was not king ha. he was God ha, but he'd never been born ha. and so Satan says y'all gonna pray with me ha. I need some praying saints ha. I feel a spirit here ha. God trying to break us through ha. God going to do something in Polk County ha. there's an apostolic anointing ha getting ready to sweep through the county huh? that's why I'm preaching Jesus huh? like I never preached him before huh? God said revival is coming huh? somebody say hallelujah amen huh? so what happens now huh? amen you understand huh? the invisible huh? in the visible huh? there are certain things huh? that the visible huh? is limited of doing huh? and so huh? in the invisible huh? is limited of doing huh? when God ha, created man. Ha. I'm going back to creation because you got to understand ha. it is creation ha, that tells the story. Ha. It is creation ha, that tells you ha, and shows us ha, that Jesus is God. Ha. When God created man, ha, he said he created him ha, in his image ha, and in his likeness. Ha. When he created man, ha, man needed help ha, to do his will uh, and to fulfill his purpose uh, so when God uh, created man uh, he created man uh, with what he would do in mind uh, so God created man uh, and when he created man uh, he was one uh, but inside of man uh, since he was created uh, inside of him uh, was the birthing material uh, inside of him uh, was a woman uh, because God understand uh, inside out of me ha, is a son y'all with me ha, and so if I'm going to make man ha, in my image ha, his help ha, gotta be in him ha, like my help ha, is inside of me ha. I got the son ha, in me ha. he got the bride ha, in him so God says ha, I got to create him ha, like me ha. and so when I create him ha, I'm going to make a man ha, but inside the man ha, I'm going to have a woman ha. and so what I'll do ha, I'll put him to sleep ha, and lay him out ha, and then I'm going to come back ha, while he sleep ha, and do an incision ha, and pull out of him a rib ha, and make a bride ha, because I understand ha, when I come in flesh ha, I'm going to die ha, 
and inside of me I got the church they're gonna have to pierce me in my side and out from me gonna come blood and water so I can create my bride somebody say yes look at somebody and say he's God all by himself somebody say glory stand on your feet and grab somebody by the hand I say Jesus is God he's the creator he's the redeemer he's the first he's the last he's Alpha and Omega the beginning in the end CS look at somebody and say the earth is the Lord's in the fullness thereof and everything that dwell therein grab somebody and say he's the I am he said I am that I am I'm the bread of life I'm the lily of the valley I'm the bright and morning star I was is and is to come somebody say yes somebody say yes put your hand together and give God a praise and say glory say glory say glory somebody say hallelujah put your hand together and grab somebody and say neighbor I want to ask you a question what do you know about it is it God is it God tell somebody I don't care what anybody else say about it I know he's God somebody say yeah see 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 yeah see yeah So, uh, this is what I want you to understand. Uh, God creates uh, man in his image. Uh, he creates a man. Uh, and inside of the man, uh, he has a woman. Uh, and God calls them. Uh, and God, uh, to this day, uh, never called uh, Eve, Eve. Uh, he called her Adam. Uh, because what God wanted to do, uh, to show you uh, the multiple locations uh, of the same person. Uh, it's the power it has to do with the name it's different bodies and different locations but different names different parts of the family but different names so when God created Adam he created Adam the man and in Adam the man was Adam the woman and in Adam the woman he would put his children in her and produce the children so now what you have you have three people with the same name and different location Adam the man is in the field working Adam the woman is in the house cooking and Adam the children are at school but they got the same name and it was three distinct uh, part uh, of a family uh, there's only three uh, people in a family uh, children uh, father uh, a mother uh, so what God's trying to show you uh, brother I'm acting as the father uh, the son uh, of the Holy Ghost uh, my name don't change uh, I'm Jesus in you uh, I was Jesus uh, on the cross uh, why I was Jesus uh, on the throne uh, ow! Glory, hallelujah Hook somebody and say neighbor. He's Jesus everywhere. See ya. Come on here. Put your hand together. And give God praise. And give God praise. Grab somebody by the head. Stand on your feet. As I get ready to close. And ask somebody what is his name. Woo. Hallelujah. I said, what is his name? Somebody say, glory. His title uh, is God. Uh, his title uh, is Father. Uh, his title uh, is Son. Uh, his title uh, is Holy Ghost. Uh, but his name, uh, his name, uh, his name, uh, his name, uh, I don't care if you are father uh, or mother. Uh, the power uh, is in your name. Uh, you can't put your title uh, on your check. Uh, you can't put your title uh, on the deed. Uh, the only thing will work uh, is the name. Uh, tell somebody uh, his name uh, has the power. Uh, his name. Uh, what's his name? Tell 
tell me who can sing it quite stand before him. and thank God that you know this great revelation all over the building I want your hands extended sometimes we get so caught up in thanking God for material things that we forget that he has revealed himself to us he's revealed to us who he is he revealed to us his name and we are special people hallelujah because of the fact that we know our God. And I want you to lift your hands up and begin to talk to him and thank him. Make contact and communication with him. Thank you God. For having a revelation of who you are. Hallelujah. Oh bless you. Thank you. Come on lift him up you could have been deceived somewhere without a knowledge of who God is I know you I know who you are I know that you're God and God alone thank you Jesus for being who you are oh shalala mahike de mashata Oh God, I need you to see a la dosta hakade de nala moro batasa. Hallelujah. Oh God, I glorify your name. You are Jesus. You are Jesus. You're King of Kings, Lord of Lords. There is no God like our God. <laughs> Nowhere. Don't even waste your time looking. There is no God like the God that we serve. Hallelujah, Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. Just take a few minutes to worship him. Tell me who can stand That great, hallelujah, Jesus, oh, precious Jesus, we have the victory, it's a blessing to know him, it's a blessing to know him, hallelujah, when we call Everybody put your hand together and give Jesus a praise. Give Jesus a praise. I want you to honor his position by giving him a praise and applaud. Just like they do for governors and princes and presidents and kings. Come on. Let's praise him. Let's show him. This is our God we're talking about. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
out of the millions of people who are lost and still trying to find who God is, we know him. Somebody even think they're right and don't even know him. And we've been down in the precious name of Jesus Christ, filled with the Holy Ghost, speaking in tongues. And we know him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Just take the time to look up to him. Say, thank you, Lord, for revealing yourself to me. Thank you for revealing yourself to me. Thank you for unveiling yourself. Anybody tonight want the baptism of the Holy Ghost and want to be baptized in water in Jesus' name? You ought to not hesitate. You ought to come on right now tonight if you want to go down in Jesus name come on to me so I can get you ready to make the rapture come on come on young man come on young lady come on come to me you don't have to be afraid I'm right here come on amen praise the Lord come on 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 amen that's right come on everybody give the Lord a hand praise look here Jesus. Is there anybody else want to be baptized in Jesus' name and filled with the Holy Ghost? I want to be saved, Lord. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. I want it. When we call on that great name, come a little closer. Jesus, praying women, come on. Sister Coward, come for a minute. I want you to pray with Kizzy tonight. And everybody get somebody here. Somebody get Bryce. Somebody get Ronnie. And the rest of you, I want you to go in intercessory prayer for seven minutes. Join the person here next to you. And you start praying as they're working the altars. Amen. That's right. As they're working the altars. Amen. Somebody get Bryce. That's right. You all that are at the altar, amen, you reach out to God. Now everybody else in the building, get somebody by the hand and join their hands and pray with me for seven minutes. Seven minutes. Keep up with the time for me, uh, Wallace. Join that hand, you pray. You pray for the Holy Ghost to come. If you need a healing, I'm praying for you tonight. It's for you. God want to give you the Holy Ghost. Oh, tell me. Shall I need nobody? I got some more that are coming for the altars. Some more that's coming for the altars. Come on, somebody else. Get these here. Jesus, reach out to God. Jesus, I love us. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is yours. It's yours for the acts. I love us. I love us. Open your mouth. Thank you, Jesus. I love Jesus, 
let the Holy Ghost come. Jesus, hallelujah. I want the Holy Ghost, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Reach out to God. Hari Aseba. Open your mouth wide and the Lord will fill it. If you open wide, he'll fill it. Open it wide. Open it wide. Call his name out of your heart. Fill me with the Holy Ghost. Pray for revival for your family. You that are in the audience and the congregation. Pray. Hallelujah. Destroying the yoke. Ule Miralia Shandor Rabai Kara Shalalalaba. Hey, Kanada, my Shalalaba. I want the altar workers to keep working the altars and the choir to continue to keep singing. Amen. Everyone else, get on your knees and start praying for this convention. Thank you, Jesus. Start praying. Hey! 
everybody take a few minutes to tarry on the name of Jesus. Call on the name of Jesus, everybody. Take about seven minutes, just call on the name. Jesus, 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 all over the building. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus,
Jesus, Jesus. Everybody stand to your feet and put your hand together and give God a praise. Praise Him. Everybody praise Him. Hallelujah. Praise Him. Praise Him. Oh, praise Him in the morning. Praise Him in the noonday. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him when the sun goes down. Everybody ought to praise Him. Praise Him. Oh, praise Him in the morning. I say what? Oh, praise Him. Praise Him. Oh, praise Him when the sun goes down. Everybody let's praise Him. Praise Him. Oh, praise Him in the morning. Praise Him in the morning. Oh, everybody praise Him. Hey, praise Him. Praise Him in the morning. Everybody let's praise Him. Praise Him. Oh, I 
You're still on duty and the musicians, the rest of the church, I'm on this mission. Stay on the altar, don't stop. May the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ rest rule and abide with you. Hence now and forever in Jesus' name. Amen. Keep singing choir. Keep praying with those at the altar. Oh. Thank you.